There we go. Um, yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty tough year for the dance community and entertainment world in general. Um, I think y'all can probably hear me now. Um, yeah, just hearing about the passing of Shabadoo today. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, sounds like, um, you know, according to his most recent message on Instagram, pull it up here. Shabba, he was doing better. So he had said, you know, I'm feeling better. Uh, this was a day ago. Feeling better, I'm just a wee bit sluggish from my cold, but the good news, I'm COVID negative. So he was doing better and you can see the uh, legendary Shabadoo smile. And yeah, so then this morning hit and got news that, um, that he had passed away. Um, so it's just one of those things that the good Lord needed him home. He had more of a mission and, uh, I don't know. I guess it hasn't hit me yet. Um, I met him once, um, you know, step by step. We, we did this back in 2013 at Popper's Picnic. I'll play this a little bit. This is him meeting nonstop. We were able to, you know, nonstop had come to Popper's Picnic. Um, and Shabadoo came through. Uh, and this was like their first time meeting. Because um, Marquis had, you know, done his um, Pumped Up Kicks video. Which has definitely inspired a lot of people to come into the dance community and of course we all know Shabadoo from breaking uh, from the lockers from Soul Train so it's kind of one of those things that here's uh, here's a new generation dancer who's utilizing YouTube um, and other platforms to get the word out about the dance community and Shabadoo was that person for breaking. So it was like, it was so amazing to be there in that moment. Uh, Cause I had been interviewing nonstop. And then all of a sudden, uh, Shabadoo, sorry. Um, it's just hitting me now. Um, Shabadoo was like, oh, this guy, this guy. So I'm, I'm gonna play, play this. Uh, hopefully you can, you can hear it. So this was, yeah. Man, how much this means to me, just being here and being around them. So, double bent. <laughs> I look at him and I think in my sight, I'm so jealous. And I was like, oh my God. Oh, I, I hate him so much. Ah. Oh my God, he's so good. The is here. He's so, he's serious. He's really good. This one right here. Yeah, so, I mean, just being able to um, just be there in those moments. I mean, uh, I, you know, we lost, we lost Don Campbell this year, too. Um, Don, Don was probably more of an influence for me. Not to say that, um, not to 
not to say that, uh, you know, sorry, Shabadoo wasn't, um, but um, becoming friends with Don, Don became friends with everybody he interacted with. Um, but I just, I remember uh, his son, you know, reaching out and just saying, you know, he's always, you know, talking about you and stuff. And uh, it's not, it's not even just, it's not about me. It's about what we've been able to do with Step by Step and interviewing these people. Um, wave of matic is another one um, that we were just posting about, you know, this is his wave of matic um, Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Hold on one second. This is another legend we lost. Play that one more time. And dance is the fingerprint to your soul. Um, yeah, so I mean we lost we lost Wavo uh that same year, that was 2012. Um he had gone to an event in LA that night, so December twenty third, and uh sometime in the night he passed. Um so a lot of people had seen him. Um and that was that year, you know, he came to Arizona when I this was probably about a year after I had started Step by Step, um, and it was just new. Um, everything was new to me, learning about these people. I, I mean, I knew a little bit, but trying to interview them and just hear their story and their wisdom and um, these people just given so many God-given talents in the past that they've been able to pave and the opportunities they've been able to create for dancers, musicians even, um, because dancers are the visual musicians for artists. So being able to showcase music through the body and movement is such an important. And dancers definitely deserve more respect. And, and these pioneers um, like Don, um, it was all about learning their foundation of their dance. But then you took the foundation and you made it yours, you made it unique. So um, when we lost Tyrone Proctor too this year, you know, whacking legend, uh, pioneer, and now Shabadoo. So that's two people from the lockers. And then you have another person in Tyrone who uh, was on Soul Train as well. So all these people coming from Soul Train um, and all the people Sorry, I, I my my words are just I, I'm not speaking straight because it's just it's um it's hard, it's hard. We also lost uh, an influential house dancer in this community this year, actually on Sunday. So within the last three days, we've lost two very influential dancers, and that's not to say that um, all dancers aren't influential. We all have an influence. We all are an example, and it's important for us to show that positivity. Um, and that's what we try to do with step by step. That's what this this whole thing. I I try to do everything from sharing events to you know sharing what people have started. Um, we always try to do it in an uplifting way. Uh, no cuss words. Um, we try to make sure people are wearing you know modest clothing because we want to show who people really are. And because that's that's what Don Campbell was. That's what Tyrone Proctor was. That's what Shabadoo was. Um, and we grow, we learn from these people. And I think that's lost within this community, especially with having so much opportunity with TikTok and Instagram and being able to see these 15 second, 30 second clips. And I mean, these guys <laughs> used to do like 
30 straight minutes of dancing, you know, and like they were their routines, their freestyles just off the chart. And we take for granted um, a lot of these people who have left us. And it's not until, you know, that that old adage that you never know what you lost until it's you never know what you had till it's gone. And uh, it's true. Um, I wish I could have sat down with Shabadoo and interviewed him. Um, I, I could have taken that opportunity at times. Um, but something like that to be able to show the generational link between somebody like Nonstop and Shabba was a moment, you know. Yeah, maybe it was only like 20 seconds, but um, it shows the respect that everybody has for each other and the motivation that nonstop is there and he's able to understand that Shabadu, maybe somebody that he probably looked up to is showing him respect and we got to do that with each other. Uh, again, as I said, with, with Don, he always encouraged everybody to use their God-given talents to learn the foundation um, and it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to create this dance. Don just did it. <laughs> he just did it. And from there, he added other unique possibilities within the foundation of the lock and um, the different foundational movements. And so he said, you just learn those and then you just do your thing. And I think we get too caught up these days in uh, trying to focus too much on, oh, I got to create something. No, you just got to respect the pioneers, respect the foundation, learn it, keep, keep learning it, bless others to learn it, and then just add your unique um, mark to it. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to jump on real quick and just say my prayers are with Shabadoo's family. Um, my prayers are with his friends. I saw a lot of people talking, um, just about having talked to him in recent days, recent hours even. Um, and just, just to say thank you, just to say thank you for, you know, um, influencing you and Turbo, um, Anna Lollipop Sanchez, uh, you know, Pop and Taco, so many people that came from that generation that didn't have internet. <laughs> they didn't have it. They hopped on the bus, they hopped on the train, they hopped in a car and they went to parties. They went, they were out dancing on the streets, dancing in the parks, dancing again at house parties, um, at community centers and we are just blessed so much to be able to utilize and have um, have social media, have events around the world, um, flying on planes, like getting places really quickly. We, as Step by Step, have been blessed to travel the world and be able to cover dancers and interview them. And it's important to us to interview the dancers that's just starting all the way to those dancers who have influenced millions. And that's what these people have done. They've influenced millions. And uh, it's up to us to be able to continue to share their light and share the talents and gifts God has given us in a positive way. Again, that's why we do what we do here on Step by Step. And we want to be able to reach families. We want to be able to reach every demographic so for us to keep our music clean uh to keep you know we want to show the talent we want to show the experience of that person and what they've overcome in their life and how they've grown and the inspiration that they possess to bless other people um and that's definitely what um shabadoo embodied uh again i'm thankful for uh what he blessed to this world and providing positive 
uplifting entertainment through his dance. Um, always had a big smile um, and always was opinionated. That's what a lot of these OGs, they're always, you know, <laughs> you know, they're, they're older people. He was, you know, 65. Uh, Don was, you know, in his 70s when he passed too. And, you know, the older we get, we get opinionated. <laughs> That's just how it is. So not that we always agree with each other, but we respect each other. And uh, again, I'm just so grateful for um, what Shabadoo blessed this community and this world with. Um, and also uh, Tyrone Proctor and um, wanted to, and then Don, Don, Don was tough for me. Um, I wish I could have been there for his ceremony in LA when they named a street. Um, I had a street sign named after him down in South Central LA. Um, I wasn't able to be there because of my own health, um, but I'm grateful that there's people out there that recognize, um, and I'm sure that the same thing will be coming with Shabadoo because he uh, definitely inspired and influenced a lot of uh, kids in these in these communities um, uh, in LA and around the world. So uh, that's about all I gotta say. Again, my prayers and thoughts are with the family of Adolfo Shabadoo Quinones, and um, please share. Please share. Um, not not this, but share um, videos on your social medias of him and just just share his talent and his light so we can remember him today so uh, much love to y'all thank you again so much for supporting over these years we hope we can do more interviews with all kinds of people um legends pioneers uh that are still alive um, please reach out to them and thank you for um yeah and thank them for what they've done and um, we, we, we need more of that. We need more of it in this world, more, more joy, more unity and respect for each other. Even when we don't agree, agree with each other or have the same experiences, this dance is for everybody. It really, it is, it's for everybody and, and learning and growing, uh, step by step is important. So, um, again, rest in peace. Shabadoo, I'm sure the Soul Train line up there is just crazy right now. Don uh, Cornelius is on the microphone, and uh, <laughs> Don Campbell's rocking through uh, the Soul Train line. Tyrone's rocking through the Soul Train line, and Shabadoo definitely is. So, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the with the with the guy on the crutches. Yeah, that's funny too, cause um that that scene, you know, I'm gonna pull that up. Let's let's pull that up uh, while while we're here. I'm gonna do uh Shabadoo. Um, let's see what I can find here on on YouTube. Shabadoo breaking. Um, see if I can find. Uh, the scene, but yeah, I mean, even, even Jean-Claude Van Damme was in that scene, you know, like it's, uh, <laughs> that whole movie is revolutionary, man. Like I, let's see, ozone turbo break it. Let's see if I can, I need to find the scene. Um, is this it? Yeah, here we go. Oh, there's a nice butt for you. There he is. There's Jean-Claude Van Damme in the back. Just driving on. You would not be able to get on the grass now. <laughs> you would get arrested in Venice. Yeah. Yeah, they are. 
This footage isn't the best, but. Let's get to, to this scene right here where he's up on the, the water tower. Let's see if I can find it. This one. Yeah. Anyways, here we'll get away from this ad right now, YouTube. But yeah, I mean, so influential, you know, just, <laughs> just a simple scene like that on Venice Beach, you know, it just uh, was incredible. Um, yeah, let me get to, let me get to this scene. Okay, here's the water tower scene. Here we go. Just, I mean, revolutionary, you know? Like, just incredibly simple and, um, yeah, just, ah, tough loss. So thank you again uh, for being on here and thank you for supporting Step by Step and uh, we hope to be able to, you know, interview and cover more of these dancers and these legends in the coming year. Um, again, we've lost three incredible pioneers and then uh, Babson, uh, was a French dancer, a house dancer, and uh, he passed away, unfortunately, on Saturday or Sunday. And he was very influential um, in the house dance community. And uh, just just a tough week. So um, may many blessings to your family, to you. Uh, get out there and dance. Go throw on some, some old school breaking music. And uh, yeah, dance for Shabadoo today. So thanks so much, y'all. Uh, Seabass with Step by Step. Rest in peace, Shabadoo.